are Sean, Emma, Rex and Maggie and in this series we head on a tour of South West Scotland in Rennie, our motorhome. In this episode we check out A Forest, stay off grid and get soggy in Dumfries. Morning everyone, uh, we are up bright and breezy in the sunshine and we are heading to a forest today that's how it's pronounced i think it's spelled a e forest um so we're heading up there it's turned bloody freezing but a whole day of rain yesterday so we're both going a bit stir crazy and it's really cold um i say really cold it's about 12 degrees but yeah it's pretty chilly um the wind's pretty um breezy today as well so um i think we're feeling it a little bit anyway so we're off because it's going to be sunny and because it's going to piss it down with rain tomorrow we're going to try and get out and do some hiking and some uh, mountain biking today um, and hopefully then we'll just be too exhausted to even worry about the rain tomorrow so there's Sean <laughs> filling the water up yeah you see he's going stir crazy I'm mental anyway uh, yeah so we're going to do a little bit of shopping on the way because we're planning on staying in the forestry commission car park tonight so wild camping tonight and um, so we want to make sure we're topped up with everything and yeah we'll uh we'll let you know when we get there it's around a two and a half mile drive from the main road up to a village and into the forest some of the road is single track with a couple of passing places. So this is the road we need to come down later to stay overnight um, at A Forest. It's a view! holes in the road so that should be interesting let's hope our tyres survive <laughs> nice view though so the dogs and I have come out we're going to check out this sort of middle um, distance walking route today it's about three and a bit miles so not too long um, and it passes by I think this is the River Naze so it passes by this river. You can see how much rain we've had. It's so high, the river. Um, and we've got more forecast for tomorrow. So it's pretty, uh, pretty high. And a little bit scary, but there we go. We'll see how this walk takes us. I think it's a pretty flat route. So it should be nice and easy. Come on, you two. And then uh, I'll be taking on the blue mountain bike route later. Sean's going out on the red today. It's uh, we've got a clear day, so shouldn't rain today, or at least until later on. So we're going for it, um, and then expecting a horrible wet day tomorrow. A forest was planted in the 1920s, with the village being built in 1947. The forest is a priority forest for red squirrel conservation and has a thriving population of otters. It is also part of the Seven Stains Mountain Bike Trails project.
So Emma's headed off with the dogs and I'm going to go on the mountain bike trail. The red here is called the AE line. A line is a 15 mile long ride through the countryside and well worth a go as an intermediate rider. Yay. Yay. Hello, hello. Yay. You're right. Yeah. You? Oh, yeah, good. Hello. Oh, all right, Rex, calm down. Oh, well, that was very similar to Dolby actually. Oh, really? Yeah, apart from the last bit, I went wrong and went right up to the top, so I had to come down the downhill trails. Oh, I thought you which might. Which were I saw full them. on. Hmm? Which were pretty yeah, full Yeah, I thought we saw them when we went on our walk. Yeah, so, um, but yeah, I mean, it was okay. It was good. I enjoyed it. Uh, probably the last bit, <coughs> coming back, the last, literally the last 10% had a few jumps on it. But yeah, it was a, yeah good little one round like Dolby you know yeah so it was oh good. Dolby Dolby yeah in Yorkshire oh okay yeah so it's like Dolby not Dolby T no no so, so maybe in Dolby T I'm still my two favorites but we'll see what Glen Tress is like I'm okay sure Glen cool Tress is good cool right it's my good. turn then your turn oh god here we go <laughs> okay so Sean made it back on the red and I'm going to give the blue a go so this is where I walked this morning so I know what this is all about it's a nice forest path yep so that's where the red goes up and this is where the blue starts to climb <sighs> drop it down a couple of gears so after about another 10 minutes of pedalling uphill I think we finally reached the top. It's worth a stop to look at the view. Well, here we go. Right. So hopefully this is where the proper blue bit starts. Collins Folly. Okay, let's put my goggles on. Right, now let's see what this is about. I'm going to take it easy because again I'm riding this completely blind. Okay, so that's quite a steep berm for me. Okay, there we go. Rollable, so it's perfectly fine. They, these are quite steep actually. I'm useless this way around. Ooh. There we go. 
this is more like it this is definitely a blue this this section is definitely what i'm used to doing as a blue a little bit more gradient a couple of nice berms to try out nice little lumps yeah all rollable trying to work at letting my brakes off I get so nervous but I know I've got to work on my speed to carry myself through some of these features if I want to progress okay so a little lump here ah oh, nice nice little roller coaster cool oh I enjoyed that excellent nice little section it's almost worth it the climb for all that little section there oh and here we go we're going this way i think i missed the new bit or it's not finished yet oh look at this view though this is actually the blue and the green now look at it it's beautiful by the river so cool someone's lost a ball whoops nice yeah so cool I mean although there was only one bit of single track and then you've got this bit through the forest which is flat it is worth it just for the views I mean look at it it's beautiful if you want to be technically challenged on a blue this is not the trail for you but if you want a nice ride out with a little bit of single track on it just for a bit of fun it's worth a punt i think and this way back to the car park hi everyone um this is last night's rainy park up um we actually stayed at a forest last night in the car park so we just paid the six pound um to stay overnight there's no facilities or anything no bin um but we, we stayed here we were the only ones here we had the whole place to ourselves really really quiet best night's sleep ever <laughs> So um, today the weather's not looking great, so we're going to head into Dumfries. We're on the hunt for auto gas to top up our um, gas um, cylinder. And we're possibly, if the weather holds out a little bit better, then we're probably going to go for a wander around Dumfries before we head off to our campsite for the weekend um, later on today. What are you doing, Emma? Going out in the rain. Why are you going out in the rain? Because we need a bridge magnet. And this is the area. So where are we? We're in Dumfries. We're in Dumfries. We're on our way to a campsite. Yes. And we haven't managed to get a fridge magnet for our trip, have we? No. So we you're... missed out. All the gift shops are either shut or there's like nothing in them or they're rubbish. And I'm like, it must have a fridge magnet. We must for our collection, our wall collection. Don't go on our fridge. We've got like a magnetic thing in our kitchen with them all on from all our travels. But this is the only day we've got in the schedule <laughs> that I can go and find one, and it's absolutely persisting it down. Should we have a quick look out the window? Yes. We can't free car park centre of Dumfries. Woo! Yeah. Urban, urban. It's a good, good campsite. Uh, good this is the coach park. park, isn't it? Yeah, the coach park. park. Yeah, There's on Broome coaches Road. Yeah. But it's literally just a little walk through there, and you get right to the high street. Mm. But um, yeah, so I am going to get very, very soggy. You are. Today. 
good luck with your travels obviously i would come with you but rex doesn't like the rain so i have to stay your in the sacrifice motorhome. is yeah. is um you know well noted yeah that you need to stay here yeah. and look after rex yeah and have a coffee and maybe have a little nap bastard <laughs> so did you have a successful trip no oh it's a bit sad really because it's your typical dying high street up there um lots of empty units you know the only people doing very well are the likes of greg's and cost coffee you know starbucks a few independent like places for cafes and stuff couple of cafes but yeah it's a shame there's not many actual shops you've got your usual you know new look and um River Island and Marks and Spencers, but so it's not really touristy shops, no, like not, not really. Or or the or if they were touristy shops, they've all closed down because there's obviously maybe not enough. Well, there hasn't been any tourists here probably for the last eighteen months, so no. so they've struggled with it a bit. So it's a sh it is a shame. It's a shame. A few nice bits of art knocking about. All right. Um, yeah, um, on some of the buildings, that's quite cool. But yeah, and it really smells of coal outside, like smoke, like fireplace, like coal fires. Everyone's got their fires. Everyone's got their fires going, about. but they obviously use coal around here rather than wood because it's just like <laughs> yeah, gets in your chest um, a bit. Yeah, it kind of added to the atmosphere though, kind of the grey, like rainy day. But yeah. yeah, it's a shame. So I've got wet and cold for bugger all really. <laughs> oh well, our search continues. The search for the perfect Dumfries and Galloway fridge magnet continues. <laughs> Join us next time when we venture to the amazing Drumlambrig Castle estate.